again for week six of the virtual Bible study. We will continue to use the LEC deck. The deck was created by the Diocese of Bath and Wells and the Diocese of Bristol. The link is on screen if you wish to purchase your own deck. We continue to follow the Church in Wales lectionary. We are in year A currently and this is the 16th Sunday after Trinity in year A. The theme this week is imitating Christ. But as usual, before we start, let's pray together and bring ourselves into a place where we can be with Christ. Dear Lord, we thank you once again as you bring us together virtually. We pray that you will be with us in this time together and send your Holy Spirit to help us to understand what you are telling us through the Bible reading this week. Lord, we ask that you will continue to use these videos to grow your faith in us as only you can. In Jesus' name, Amen. The reading this week is taken from Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. It comes from the Good News Bible and here it is. Your life in Christ makes you strong and his love comforts you. You have fellowship with the Spirit and you have kindness and compassion for one another. I urge you then to make me completely happy by having the same thoughts, sharing the same love and being one in soul and mind. Don't do anything from selfish ambition or from a cheap desire to boast, but be humble towards one another, always considering others better than yourselves and look out for one another's interests, not just for your own, the attitude you should have is the one that Jesus Christ had. He always had the nature of God, but he did not think that by force he should try to remain equal with God. Instead of this, of his own free will, he gave up all he had and took the nature of a servant. He became like a human being and appeared in human likeness. He was humble and walked the path of obedience all the way to death, his death on the cross. For this reason, God raised him to the highest place above and gave him the name that is greater than any other name. And so, in honour of the name of Jesus, all beings in heaven, on earth and in the world below will fall on their knees and all will openly proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So now that we've read the Bible verse, let, let's look at our first question. When have you looked out for the interests of others? Pause the video here and take some time to think. It's important that we follow the example of Jesus Christ. So what does this passage say about Jesus? Pause the video again here and have some more time to think. Finally, the reading says that Jesus of his own free will gave up all he had and took the nature of a servant. He was here to serve others and to teach people about God. So what could you do to imitate Christ more in your daily life? Again, pause the video here to consider your answer.
It's important that we ask God to help us become more like Jesus every day. Let's pray together for the support of the Holy Spirit in order to become more like Jesus. Lord Jesus, as Christians, it is our job to try to be more like you every day. Send your Holy Spirit to help us to do what you would do. Send the Holy Spirit to teach us how to be servants to our fellow humans. Send the Holy Spirit to grow in us the compassion and love that Jesus showed every day during his ministry. Send the Holy Spirit to change us, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. The song I've chosen this week is called Changed and it's by Jordan Feliz. And this week, your live it task is to ask someone to support you in your quest to be more like Jesus. This could be a friend, a parent, or someone at your local church, or someone else completely. Have a really blessed week, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.